All right, I saw something on uh, YouTube um, today, and then uh, I saw Slider doing it uh, the other day, and so I thought, you know what, I've got to take a look at this. And there's a guy, I don't think I've talked to him, named Tin Man on YouTube, and he came up with a circuit called the Cool Jewel. And the name alone got me hooked right there. But uh, this uh, little thing I've got running here is really pretty darn neat. And it's a super simple circuit that he stumbled on by accident. And uh, when I heard the story about that, you know, that got me uh, going right away. When somebody stumbles on something by accident, they're doing something else, and they come up with a, a something new and different. I've just got to see if I can play around with it and do something. But... Um, he called it the Cool Jewel, and he was working with a Bedini type of circuit, and uh, it was uh, hooked up to a wheel and all that, and uh, he was using stuff out of these uh, solar garden lights, the battery and uh, LED and stuff, and uh, figured out that if he hooked a couple of these batteries together in series and took the charge back into them in a certain way, um, and fiddle around and fiddle around it. It would charge one up and barely discharge the other one. And he's still working on it. And I recommend, I highly recommend, you go to uh, Tin Man Power on uh, YouTube and check out his channel and uh, see what he's doing with that. And there's a bunch of guys uh, replicating the circuit. Now I didn't replicate it, but I had fun playing with it today. And um, what I wanted to see was his latest thing about how the inductors on the circuit do not have to be next to one another. They can be separate, they can be in a Faraday cage, they can be whatever, and this circuit still oscillates like a jewel thief or the Bedini uh, solid state SSG. And I found that very interesting because I had seen this happen before when I was working on my uh, a penny oscillator circuit. Here's the circuit that I did, the variant of here. And uh, what I did was I put a couple of super caps on either side of it. I'm running it with an MPS A06. The one in 00, one in 4, or one in 4004, I believe it is. I don't know if I have that right or not. And then an LED, and it goes uh, into the super cap, and then back over here to the plus on the other super cap, just like the Bedini circuit. But the way this is uh, set up, you'll notice where I've drawn the inductors. There's a choke, 1,000 microhenry choke, and there's a 1,000 microhenry choke. And they are not next to one another. They are completely isolated. I actually put this on clip leads and took it way out away from the circuit board here just to see if it would work. And somehow it picks up a signal into that little MPS A06 and gets it to trigger into oscillation. And I just thought that was the coolest thing, so I made a video of it here. And what's going on here is you've got one uh, capacitor that's uh, running the circuit, and the other one's being charged. And that's what I've got here on the diagram, is you've got a run capacitor, the driver, and then you've got a charge on the other side. Now, I am not getting results with this particular setup like he showed, where it was um, almost running on nothing. The best I could get out of this was... Um, about a 44 microamp draw in the whole setup, which isn't too shabby, you know, with a little bit of light coming out of it like that, micro Henry draw. And uh, he's using uh, NICAD batteries instead of super caps. And that could be one reason he's got some interesting uh, results is he's using the batteries out of these uh, solar, solar lights. And uh, that's working quite well. But anyway, that's my uh, little... Uh, Tin Man's Cool Jewel variant. I'm calling it a variant because it's not quite like his. And my name is Lib Motor, and this is 1st of May, 2013. And uh, like I say, go over to Tin Man's channel and check it out. And I think you'll have fun building this. This is a hour or two project and fun. Fun to watch it happen. Thanks for watching.